Well, the president is promising the show of a lifetime tomorrow in Washington. Tonight, as we speak, the military hardware is being put into place. Stages and stands are being prepared, and our chief Washington correspondent, Major Garrett, is at the Lincoln Memorial tonight. Major? Good evening, David. Welcome to a hot and humid steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Over my shoulder, you see the Army Band, formerly known as Pershing Zone, part of the pageantry here. They're working through their rehearsals. To my left, you see one of two Bradley Infantry vehicles, part of the militarized pageantry. You know, when the president talked about the show, that's an important word because this is his show, stage managed for weeks by the White House. Of the cost, and there will be many, the president said, well, there'll be very little compared to what this is all worth. We have one figure that's worth noting. Reportedly, the National Park Service will have to use $2.5 million in user fees from other national parks to help defray some of the costs here. David? Major, we know the president will be there. Who else is going to be with him? Well, let me give you some visuals on that. My photographer, Tony Furlow, will show you the one bleacher wrapped in bunting. That is for VIPs. Who are the VIPs? That will be for the White House to decide. Some of those VIPs will be Republican Party donors, creating a bit of partisanship, muddying what is historically a nonpartisan event. As for all the other matters here, the district of government wants to be repaid for any additional costs. The biggest thing here to think about, David, and one of the biggest challenges for everyone, the president and involved in this, the weather forecast for this 4th of July here, 80% chance of thunderstorms and possibly lightning. Major Garrett proven he can walk, talk, and give context. Thank you, Major.